Okay, I'm sitting in the middle of a bunch of different DT Swiss. Single paw ratchet systems and also an Industry 9 rear hub. So I kind of want to compare the differences in engagement sounds or whatever. This is a standard DT Swiss 370 hub. It's one of their lower end hubs, but I've never had a problem with one. Um, you can switch these to the Star Ratchet. It is possible people say you can't, but there's lots of videos on YouTube that show some. And I have done it myself, and I will show you a 54 tooth, what it sounds like with the Star Ratchet. Anyway, here's the, the three Paul DT Swiss 370 hub unmodified. This one's pretty new, so it sounds good. Don't have any issues with it. <clears throat> this one is an unmodified 350, DT Swiss 350 hub. It's got 18 teeth ratchet system. Kind of quiet. I lubed it up recently. <clears throat> and then here is a DT Swiss 370 hub. This one I modified with a 54 tooth ratchet system. And you can hear a big difference. Sounds like angry hornets. So that's 350, or that's 54 teeth, and this is 18. And this one's a lot quieter just because I looped it up more. But you can hear. <clears throat> and then here we got an Industry 9 torch, which is their old style. They'll have a Hydro, which is like 600 points of engagement. This one, I'm not sure how many it is, but it's plenty, and I've, I love these hubs. That's the Industry 9, and here's the 54 tube. Anyway, so that is a same hub right there as this one here. You can see the hub the shell is the same. What I did is I switched the inners. I wonder if we could pull this off real quick. Oh, not as easy. Not so easy to pull off, but anyway, they got a, a pawl system in there. Versus the ratchet system. So anyway, there's kind of differences in them. 54 tooth. I-9. Standard Paul. DT Swiss 350, 18 tooth. It's very quiet because it's oiled up and there's 54 again. Cool.